mom and dad's only daughter do I make you proud? Writing my life in lyrics to your like the sound Seeking approval constantly When it's my truth I own I speak it all makes sense now Give it a good Welcome back to our channel. How's everyone doing? Whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time of day it is while you are watching this video, I hope y'all day is going well. Y'all week is going well and y'all will have a blessed weekend. I am taking you guys through when we go grocery shopping and got to come home and put up all our groceries, how we pack everything and just kind of organize. I hope you guys just enjoy. It's not going to be a lot of music. I'm just going to let y'all hear <laughs> oh, my family. This is real life, you guys. So y'all enjoy. Now I'll take one off. Who's these? Where's the egg pack? Right there. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Y'all go this way. Yeah, she just felt in his pocket. What? I guess you can put them on top of the meat. I just need one pack of brown shot. Yeah. Yeah. These can go in the freezer. Is that freezer? Can I get one? And those, those two packs are going to go in the freezer. What you pack? 
packs of them. All right, you guys. This is how John broke down the pork chops. I put two. Well, this one got three because of the extra, but I put two, 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 and two. So it's eight. This one got nine, but I put eight to a bag. And I got what, three bags? These two boxes or these two sticks? Those two boxes are more good. You take them out and put them in. Take those boxes and put them up here. And these here. This actually is one bag. singing that song.
still have to heat this too. Oh, I have to go over there. Okay, cool. We got four packs of chicken breasts. Each bag has four to five chicken breasts in them. Well, you heard me. You come in for a second. So I can show you the uh, deep freeze. Yeah, I, I didn't think she heard me. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this back in the Oh. Oh. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do when you can't reach stuff. 
time, you might gotta jump, squat, sit on something. I do have a stain, but I'm still like getting it out. I'm just trying to hurry up and stop back up. Okay, let's see what we got here. So when I go back to the stove, I already know. Let me get the basic milk, egg, blood. Bread. Unless we have the seafood, you know, something special, like something particular for that day. And then we'll go back and get whatever. So, yeah, I'm still going to have to go to Walmart, go and get But like I said, it'll be to get, you know, just what you need. And not, you know, y'all know. And I'm putting a ramen noodle cup or two by this. Uh-uh. You got the red potatoes in the one.
But this container here, I got my pop tarts in. Philip eat them every now and then, but his Rice Krispies treats and his little cookies and stuff that I pack up for him for lunch. And I'm explaining why I have them in this the way that I have them. And y'all understand, because it'll be easier for me, for him, when um we're doing his breakfast and lunch. And like I said, I'm explaining it all to y'all. It'll make sense in a second. I'm going to put that in the front of the fridge. So that way I have his juices. So he can just grab his juice. And he won't, I'm not going to let him just go in this cabinet, just to go in this cabinet. This cabinet is for him for school. Now he can have one of these juices throughout the day, but he got to get it from out of the box over there. All this is just his school cabinet for breakfast and for lunch. I'm trying to make it easy for me in the morning time. I ain't got time. Some people just so, so privileged. Huh? Some people just privileged. Very angry. I wish I had it like that. No, I don't. I'm not going to say that. Because I ain't ready. So, I don't wish I had it like that. So look on this space right here. Huh? I need green. Look on this space right here. Oh. If you slide some over, you can put your and put the ramen noodles or something over there. Or however you want to do Oh, you can put the ramen noodles over here. I'm going to stack them here. Well, put them at, because that, that's... You know, she never home. What you need from her? Every day she does not fall. Ask me the girl. He don't know this. How many pearls no. does each pirate get and yeah. how many are left over? How am I supposed to understand? Hold on. 1,239 divided by 5. How many, how many pearls will each power get? You have to divide it. How, I don't even know how to divide that. Ask about the girl to help you for it. Division is easy. It's just like multiplication. You We're remember? in thousands. We never did thousands. It's the same. Uh huh. I promise. If you get a piece, get a piece of paper. Get a piece of paper. I'm going to show you. Yeah, she going to eat a... Can you get that whole nope. juice and put it in front of the potatoes? Nope. nope. It's going in the room. Sorry. But how you gonna put the uh, oh, I do not you better put that in a zip or bag because I do not want that doing? I don't smell like no pan. It go towards the back. Girl, I am too and I gotta cook. So y'all can eat. Cause I love my family. It's okay. No, I gotta eat. It's okay. Well I just need baby I put the ice up. He ain't do that well, yet. I can't it's okay. Yeah, still understand. Oh, yeah. It go right in front of your uh I bet you want to put it here. What are you doing? Don't don't hear that. Be patient. I need help with this math problem. I gotta finish this math problem. Just sit right there in that comb. Because I don't want them to drink this juice. Come down, come up here. I got 
I got you some more taffy. This time when we spend, I come get a whole bag of them. Or something like that, gonna buy some of them. Yeah. The only thing I gotta do, like I said, I'm gonna cook dinner, but I'm gonna come back in a few minutes and I'm gonna show y'all how I got everything. These drinks is going to the back. That water will go over there in that corner in a little bit. Um, but right now, I'm about to help fill it with his homework, and then I'll be back. Hi guys, today we're doing um, we're doing my homework, but we're doing it with my mom. Yes. Because I need help with it. Yeah. And then I honestly don't know. Okay. You see what I say is 1,239 right here. Minus 1,000. That would be 20 is 239 because you took, you, those would turn into a zero, so then you would take those and put right. the zero to make two. So 1,239 minus 1,000 is 239, right? 239. Just put 239. Okay, 239 minus 200 um, is what? 39? Yes. 39 minus 35 gives you what? 39 minus 35 equals... Um, wait. Four? Yes. So... What is the remainder? How many pearls does each pirate get to have? Each pirate gets to have four. Do they get to? They got 200. They got 40 and they got seven. So how many? 247. So that means they get to have what? 247. You think they get to have 247? Mm-hmm, because... Each of them, 247, 247, 247, 247, 247. Okay, and then remainder what? Remainder? Four. Okay. So 247. 247. Remainder? Four. Yay! You got it. Great job. When you add up the pearls in a single bin, you get 247. These four pearls left over in our treasure chest are the remainder. Wait, but what I wonder what those players did with those extra four pearls. I wanted to. Take it, just be. Personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus Oh! I got my minutes in both! I'm done. Oh, look, look at me, let me look at Reed. <laughs> Dang, he mad, he big, he I'm, I'm done, done. I'll forget I'm this. Sleep. So yeah, math is math is very difficult. It look like there's a problem here. We don't care about that. 
So you done? I don't, okay, I don't well, here you go. Keep your little pen. Can I this for school tomorrow? I'm sure. I remember to bring this to school. Oh, I'm done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm bringing this to school. Get your computer. Plug your computer up. I'm bugging my computer up. Oh, it feels so good. Just, Tell them you got it. You done. Kids, just put the answer. They don't care. Just put the answer. Division? They, y'all know how we did our division. division. Just put the answer. Back in the day. They doing this new math. The, the, they they doing new math. Yeah, they got new math now, honey. They, they be making us see how much time is in an hour. How, you want to know how much time is in an hour? 60 minutes. Yeah, we know that, though. Well, all right, well, I was doing homework. Mr. Soldier was helping me grind me. So I'm going to let him put in a Well, while that meat is browning, I'm going to go ahead on and just show you guys real quick how I got everything. And I'm going to end this video because I feel like the uh, rice put up in the hog closet. I got to get my table wiped off. Well, I'll all that wiped off. And I'm going to show you guys how I got everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start the video. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with our dinner for tonight, then I'll show you guys everything else and wrap this video up. But we ended up just doing the spaghetti bake in the oven. We layered it with cheese. So they got two different layers of cheese in there. It just came out the oven, so you know it's still kind of it's not as thick, but y'all know it'll thicken up. And then the egg rolls, we just fried a few of them and enjoying that. I don't wipe everything down. But everything is clean and wiped down and done. So I guess I'm going to start over here first. Mom? Yes, son. No problem. It needs me to write. Well, then you write. I don't know what to write about. Mm. Well, do the first part first. Uh, Just part, do the first part, the top, the top part. part. A. Okay. Which, um, we got everything stocked up in the deep freezer. We showed you guys the bottom section. This is the top. We got everything packed in order. Ice cream, breakfast, and fried stuff on top. And y'all seen on, like I said, ice cream, chicken. Yeah, ice cream, chicken, and beef. And then, no, ice cream, chicken. Yeah, and beef. And then pork and stuff is all on that side, I think. No, it's not. I'm lying. Ice cream, all of this is chicken. And then beef and pork. And then frozen vegetables. And then on top, it's just like extra eyes and ends. <clears throat> and then I'll show you guys the other freezer. As I told y'all, the top two shelves is for leisure for her stuff. But then like all the breakfast stuff is on this, this row. And then my fruits, frozen fruits and some more um, breakfast stuff is there. Pizzas and then fill up breakfast on the sausages. And then um, frozen veggies. Refrigerator, pretty much self-explanatory, like I showed you guys earlier. It's organized. It looks like it's not, but everything is organized to the best of its ability until we get, like I said, our bigger refrigerator and freezer coming in. And then all the condiments is on the door. Then I'll show y'all here. I did redo my cabinet space. If you guys remember, at first I had snacks and stuff in here, but what I did was Put all fill up containers, his bowls, and then they got coffee cups, and then just a few extra plates up there. Savannah and Milo, stop it. That's only Savannah. Hold on a second, y'all. Savannah is put up because she was not listening at all. So she's put up for a few minutes until she listened. Milo, mom just left because she's going to a sleepover. She don't walk Milo, fed him, and well, she fed and walked him. Philip walked him, and he's going to sleep. Okay, if anybody asks. Well, and then, well, he look like he's going to sleep right now. Or he's probably just saying because his mama left him. 
but I got cups up there. This is my um, for my dish rag when I'm washing dishes and stuff. I normally leave it in the dishwasher, but I have to do these dishes, so they up there for right now. Our bowls, plates. This is my cup. I eat my ice cream. I mean, my bowl. I eat my ice cream out of. This is Mama E cup, and I got Mama one and her one. Mama's is red, black, and white. Mama E's is black, gold, and white. My cup and my glass and then plates over here. Y'all seen me doing this earlier. The back is just all pasta and red bean stuff, gumbo stuff. But our cake mixes and brownie mix and then leftover pasta shells. Other than that, everything else is for Philip that he eats for school. Macaroni, pop tarts, and snacks. I got water, all the peanut butter and jellies and stuff. Uh huh. And then the peanut butter, all the peanut butter and jellies and stuff, apple jelly stuff, all that's there. Fill up juices that he's gonna bring to school. His waters, his um, spaghetti, macaroni, and cheese, chocolate milk, stuff like that. Like I say, the reason I did this cabinet this way, because normally in the morning Jordan will fix his breakfast. That way he can grab his peanut butter. He used to be over here on this side. Um, we just got finished fixing them egg rolls. That's why it's up here. But normally Jordan will stand on this side. He fix Philip breakfast. I'll stand on this side and I'll fix Philip lunch. So we can just grab, go, put in his lunchbox. His waters, his juice, because he don't like a lot of his stuff cold. Now, he do have certain, like his apple juice, he'll drink cold. But those juices and water, he don't. So if he don't eat a school lunch tomorrow, he'll either have macaroni, whatever he's going to eat. He do have jello and pudding in the refrigerator. I'm going to show you guys that. Let me show y'all before I forget. And like I said, it's just so much easier if I can just grab stuff and go. So his Lunchables is sitting on top just because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. For the moment when we were stocking everything up. But he got puddings, jellos, yogurts, all that back there. So whatever he gonna bring, like I said, he can just grab it and go. He can put his water and juice down here so he can grab that out the refrigerator in the morning. If he decides he want a pancake on a stick, he can grab his pancake on a stick, grab him a juice or water, pop his pancake on a stick in the microwave, go on by the business. <laughs> and so like I said, that's his lunch and stuff. So it's organized, it's easy. This is like just extra condiments and whatnot. That hot sauce and that cheese is gonna go there. In that empty spot so a lot of this is like just extra stuff over here all the grits coffee um, oatmeal tea stuff like that that's the leisures at the bottom all our seasonings you guys already have seen all our seasonings is already in this cabinet we showed you guys that often yes well go ahead on and eat till I'm done and then over here self-explanatory Jordan put the noodles there because he do fix noodles for mama and he'll eat them. I didn't have this stuff fixed like this in this cabinet. But like I said, I have to fix it to where it's easy for me. And it just makes sense. Because if we're cooking meat, whatever meat we're going to cook, then we're going to grab our vegetable. If we're having rice, potatoes, whatever it's going to be, you grab it. If we're doing tuna fish, whatever. When mama get ready to make her stew, she got her, um, what you call it? Can y'all see that? She got her carrots and stuff, whatever she's going to do for her stew. The Alfredo stuff, extra bouillon base, all that's up there. The noodles, cream, pineapple stuff. Tuna fish, Vienna sausages, stuff like that. Simple and easy. This is all like our cake spice shelf. Everybody got that. It's never clean, no matter how often you clean it. And then back up, rice, flour, pancake mix, creamer, stuff like that. Sugar. Then I got more hot sauce, Italian sauce, barbecue sauce with extra stuff all back there. Those are just containers. This cabinet here is for Alicia. All of her workout stuff and all her healthier choices she eats. Y'all see Philip and Mama eating, and then plus Philip is still doing homework. Pause that until your homework done. You said until eat. Done okay, well go go ahead eat. And then the chips is up here cereal up here puppies let me move them out the way for a second 
they hate when I slide them, but trust me, they're going to be fine. Okay, hopefully y'all can see this. Fill up Gatorades. And all this is backup stuff, so I'm going to start here. All his snacks and stuff, his chips, snack stuff I keep up here. So that way either I get it or he have to ask. He don't eat a whole lot of different snacks. That's why y'all see that I don't have to often go buy them because <laughs> he does very good with that. This is stuff that he'll take to lunch. I do have some of these in that Rice Krispie and uh, Pops Tart container I show y'all. So this is extra that he have. Um, he might eat Takis every now and then for school. But he always want oatmeal and he still have extra Takis here. Just in case. Um, chips. Pudding, Jello, applesauce, yogurt. Not yogurt. Pudding, applesauce, the Jello. He got plain Jello and then he got Jello with fruit in it. And then he got these different ones it's different fruit mixes that i bought him if y'all seen all my hauls y'all seen that and then more applesauce fruit jello his waters i have stocked up in here leftover apple juices that can now go back in here so his apple juice more backup water back there apple juice pineapple juice apple juice cranberry juice cran grape juice stuff like that more gatorades body armor more gatorades water apple juice and then here, the chips I bought, I got potatoes here, and behind the potatoes, and I don't feel like moving it, but please take my word for it, I got red onions here, and on side of the red onions, I have my regular yellow onions. And then back of potatoes that couldn't fit in that container. And then on there is just the dog food, the puppies food, and then I like air cooker, air cooker, a rice cooker, and um, you know stuff like that, I, blenders and whatnot. Paper plates, napkins, uh, what you call them things? <laughs> paper towels, and then when I go to Sam's, the other paper towels and napkins going to go back there. So that's it. Everything is in order the way it needs to be. It's a place for everything. Like I said, this way, oh my God. This way, everything is organized. That water, this water here. Jordan is going to put over here. But I told him he can just do it tomorrow because right now we're just tired. And we're going to rest for the rest of the night because we're tired. So it's, what, let's see, it's 612. I say by about 7 o'clock, it should be cool enough. 7, 730, it'll be cool enough. Put in the fridge ready. And we're going to be done, huh, Mom? <laughs> But I'm about to sit down and finish helping him do his homework. Jordan is in the shower, and after I help him do his homework, I'll take my shower, and then we can eat together. And they're just doing a lot of stuff on Black History Month, so I'm going to help him read his. Oh, no, he does Oh, that's right. He did say he was going outside to take a call. Well, he's about to take his shower. I'm going to help Philip with his homework, then I can take my shower and we can eat. But, yeah, I'm going to help him read this, and that'll be it. So, I thank y'all for hanging in there with us. Watching us, you know, how we just organize all our stuff. Y'all seen, if y'all seen my walkthrough, y'all seen my grocery list. Next month, when I get ready to do my bulk grocery haul like this again, because I didn't have time to do it this month, because we had a lot going on. But next month, I will show y'all how I write my list, because I go through all the cabinets, refrigerator, freezer. I literally take everything out of my deep freezer, put it on this table. And I see what I need as far as food, meats, meats, vegetables, what we out of. I do the same with the refrigerator, that stand, and the cabinets. So that's how I do it. And it helps me to stock up like that. So next one, I'll take y'all with me to do that. So, um, oh, and all of my groceries total for each three of the stores came up to $587. And I do not think, I think that was really good for all that stuff I got. And I did have discounts, deals. We had points off at um, Winn-Dixie. We ended up saving, I think, $57 at Winn-Dixie. And at Food Giant, a good bit of stuff was on sale. So I think we ended up saving like 40 something dollars there. And at Walmart, it wasn't a lot of stuff that was really on sale. So, but I don't think that's bad at all. 
But yeah, so I thank you guys. And I will see you all later. Y'all have a great night, a great week. Be blessed. We love y'all. Stay safe. Make sure y'all comment. Please make sure y'all hit that bell on the way out if you have not already done it. And hit the thumbs up on the way out if you have not already done it. Subscribe to our other channels. If y'all interested in seeing a walkthrough, it is on... Um, it is on... The walkthrough should be on here, on Alicia Southern Group. And then the grocery haul is on... Y'all, let's see. Just go check this <laughs> description box and see which video it's on, okay? And I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Mom and dad's only daughter, do I make you proud?